I reckon they surprised a few, the Western Magpies last year, how well they went in the home and away season, but probably wasn't the finals campaign they were after. Glenn, how much do you speak about that, um, if, if it's spoken about at all? Oh, look, I guess we did um, when we first come back at, for pre-season, you know, um, how we'd, um, you know, we'd probably missed an opportunity, um, uh, but uh, what we could actually learn from it and where we need to be uh, this year if we want to go further than we did last year. So The foundation's definitely there, um, great crop, good kids as well. So where's the ne- that next step coming from that to bridge that gap between sort of the top two teams, I guess? Look, I, g- I guess one of the things you've got to look at is you've got to look at players coming into the side, uh, but you've also got to look at um, improving the, the squad in a, as a whole um, and individual players within that um, to take the next step and, and, and improve that extra 20% um, so that we can actually go further than we did last year. If we think back to 12 months ago, is the belief a lot stronger now that you've been there and got close and had a really good 2015? Look, the belief is definitely there that we can actually do it. Um, it it's, it's a matter of um, are we doing the same things? Are we doing more? Um, are we uh, are we tracking for improvement? Uh, comparing this time to, to last year so it's um, and it is um, it, it all it all looks um, it all looks favourable at this time of year um, although if you look at our practice matches people wouldn't say so but we had the same, exactly the same thing last year um, we lost our um, our first couple of practice matches um, uh, before we started to hit a bit of form and then um, uh, but we know exactly what we've got to do and how we've got to go about it and the boys will keep working at it. There's going to be no bigger name in the Quaffle this year than Brent Steger, but it's going to be remiss not to talk about anyone else. Who are the other new guys we can sort of keep an eye out for this year? Well, look, um, Nick Barley, um, who played with Ipswich last year. Um, he'll uh, he'll be running around for us. Um, Gareth Crawford in the midfield up from Warrnambool uh, will be running around. He uh, he looks like a likely type. And uh, we've also got um, Bruce Bridge from up in Cairns, um, who will also be a likely type. He'll run around the back half for us. Um, and we've got quite a few young blokes running around. So, um, And I think um, that's the exciting part about it, is the young blokes that are coming through. Um, and we'll look them to keep pushing the entire group. So now, if we look, say, October this year, and we look back on, on the season as a whole, what's going, to be, what's going to be something you can sit back and be comfortable with on, on how you've performed this year? Is there a pass mark? Uh, not at this point in time, there's not. Um, I, I think once we get to the end of the year, there will be a pass mark. Uh, but right now, uh, we're focused uh, on getting ourselves ready for our first game. Um, and we'll set some goals uh, before our first game for our first um, six rounds. And then that'll be it. We won't look any further forward than the first six rounds at this point in time. First round, Dittmer Park, Mount Gravatt should be a cracker. Thanks, Glenn. All right, thanks, mate.